After six years, the prosecution has closed its case in Datuk Seri Najib Rozok's trial involving RM 2.28 billion 655 million Singapore dollars from one Malaysia Development BHD, one MDB. The prosecution trial which ran for more than 200 days, ended with its last witness on the stand being M Bank's former group, Managing Director Chia Tekwal, who was recalled to testify on May 30. Deputy Public Prosecutor Ahmad Okram Garib told the High Court that the prosecution was officially closing its case after calling 50 witnesses. There are no more witnesses to be called to testify. And there are no more witnesses to be cross-examined, therefore, I hereby close the prosecution's case. After 235 days of trial, spanning six years and 50 witnesses called to testify, the prosecution is offering 49 witnesses to the defense, including Tan Sri Muhammad Shafi Abdullah, he said on May 30. Justice Colin Lawrence Sequira instructed parties to file their written submissions on July 26. He also fixed August 19 until August 22 for parties to do oral submissions. Najib was first charged at the Sessions Court on September 20, 2018. The case was transferred to the High Court on October 31 of the same year. The trial began on August 28, 2019. Some of the key witnesses who testified were former bank Negora Governor Zeti Ektar Aziz, former 1MDB, Chief Executive Sharul Asrul Ibrahim Helmi, former 1MDB Chairman Mohamed Boki Sela, and former 1MDB General Counsel Jasmine Liu. Najib, 70, is on trial for 25 charges in total for four abuse of power that allegedly brought him the financial benefit to the tune of RM2. 28 billion and 21 for money laundering, involving the same amount of money. The four counts of power abuse were framed under Section 23-1 of the Malaysian Anti-Corruption Commission, Act 2009. For the 21 charges of money laundering, Najib is charged under Section 41 of the Anti-Money Laundering, Anti-Terrorism Financing, and Proceeds of Unlawful Activities Act.